Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Madness Manor and I'm going to show you a bag. This is my Brompton, my first brand new Brompton, my 2017 M6R Dynamo. This is a bike that's travelled camping all over the place with me. I think when I first started doing YouTube videos <coughs> it probably appeared in one video on a ride to Leicester, Market Harbour perhaps. Anyway, I've always had my Brompton tea bag and the Brompton rack sack or rack bag which is been something of a bane of my life when touring. I mean, it only weighs, it's as large as a feather, really. It only weighs 4.4 4 .4 grams, 4, 444 grams, should I say. I bought this Vinkita. Let me show it you. Vinkita. It's a Vinkita Big Nash. Let's take the uh, let's take the S bag off. Let's have a little look at it. Some little ganders. A pal of mine's got this. He recommended it. So I thought, well, why not? So let's have a quick look inside. Just bear with me. Let's get it open and have a look inside. Twenty liters apparently capacity. I believe it's twenty liters. Certainly big enough. It's got a padded pocket here for those people that like iPad stuff, laptop stuff. It's quite a cavernous interior. Let me put me let me put back on the. Uh, let's put you back on there. So, and you can open it, I was a bit concerned you couldn't open it up, anyway, you can open it up to get your stuff in. There's a zippy thing here, you unzip this, it folds down. This is a, a pannier, it has a pannier, one on each side, and that's quite cavernous. It's, it's you know, good depth. Little hooky bits to fasten it back to the rack stay. It does fit P-line. I haven't fitted it on the P-line yet, but it will fit the P-line and I'll show you why. It fastens here with this click fix mechanism. And that's it. Unlucky bag. Look underneath. There's that click fix mechanism that we've seen on other on other bags, on other, on other, other rack systems. Pretty foolproof. Nice smoothly finished. There's no corners to catch you or mark you or draw blood. Let's pop it on the scales. So that was 444. This is 1934. So what's that? Two, three, it's basically four times, four times the weight. It doesn't particularly feel heavy. When you fit it, it has a couple of, if you can see, a couple of locators here and here, which sort of fit into the Brompton rack, which would stop it from sliding forwards. For me, the big win-win 
the big win-win is lack of heel strike and for that we'll try to go for a ride on it I've recovered from that I've recovered from that flu just I, I still feel a bit woozy today and my voice feels weak and my body feels weak so that was 10 days of flu so I'm going to try to show you the heel strike are you with me? Bear with me. You see when we put this on the foot, on the pedal. So it's a pretty wavy video, but I'm not going to cut anything out because this is how it is. Going to turn now. Let's go back. Look. Absolutely oodles of them. Oodles of them against my heels. And that was the bugbear of the the Brompton bag. It's not waterproof, it's water repellent. So therefore it has a cover which is akin to the Brompton covers that we all know and love. Right, put you back on the table for a more balanced view, as it were. So, Vinkita. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, I don't know. Vinkita, Big Nash, made in Bangkok. I did see, I saw them, I don't know, three years ago, I guess. And I stay cleared, clear, I did stay clear from them because I think they made a bit of a marketing cock up. So I thought the Italian bag produced in Bangkok. And I just assumed, and it's always wrong to assume, I just assumed that they weren't a genuine article. But they are. I'm dead impressed. I've not loaded it yet. I've not been anywhere yet. <clears throat> There's no heel strike, and that's that's everything. When you have the the Brompton rack sack on, which goes here, it just sits a bit wide, and you catch your heels. And it's not much. It's not much, but it's enough. And I've, I did try all sorts. I tried a bungee around it to try to pull it in. Desperation. I was only actually going to punch a hole in either side here, put a threaded bar through, and a couple of nuts and washers to try to to try to squeeze the bag in. But then I thought, well, that's not the way to do it. I do like to travel with three bags. It's so much easier to travel on a Brompton with bags that aren't particularly heavy, but easy to carry. And I can carry, I can quite easily carry my S bag, whatever's on the back, and now the, now the big Nash, and the tea bag. It's quite easy to carry all of that around the uh, around the stations and, and wherever I'm travelling. I still haven't done the video on the uh, 12 speed bit, have I? Anyway, I'm sorry it's a bit of a long winded, drawn out, shaky, moving video. Well, I haven't been well and uh, fighting fit now, as it were. Thank you for watching and look at the bags. To do a smaller version. I'm wondering if this is actually a 30 litre and the other one's a 20 litre. The Nash is 20 litre and this is 30. That would sound more correct. I don't know. I just bought it up, bought it up, got it off. I ordered it direct from the factory. Uh, and I ordered one of those little triangle bags. It goes in the frame and that's going to be a video in its own right. 
bring you back on the next video. Thank you for watching.